G'day. So I want to address a couple of little things anyway, that just a few little things that I've learnt over the last few weeks and just to give some insight into, I suppose, um, reaction, different reactions. And it goes into, uh, I suppose, some of the videos and, and things that I've put up, um, and basically, you know, so there's there's some negative feedback, which is which is all good. I just want to. I'll uh, give some insight, offer some insight into some of these, uh, I don't know, these reactive patterns of people. So, <laughs> I think it's funny, but, and it goes into exactly what's what's happening right now so right now I'm pretty relaxed pretty chilled out I'm fully present I'm fully here fully in this fucking moment right now I'm making my own choices um, with my own with my appearance um, with my presentation, with the, the amount of times, the words that I use, etc. The amount of times that I say, um, you know, and it's, what I want to offer is insight into these things, which are quite common right so people you know are gonna are gonna gonna want to chop you down basically so they're going to say things do things behave in ways which is because they want you to believe about yourself what they believe about you okay and I mean, that's the whole reason why they do it um, it's not something that is Uh, your fault basically so don't take blame or don't accept uh, the I guess the the ideas that are trying to be projected towards you so basically another way of looking at this shit is everybody in this world on planet earth most people look outside of themselves so they're looking into the world for i guess who they are they're looking out into the world to, to try and to get the world to teach them who the fuck they are so a lot of the times that comes from childhood so I do say so a lot, don't I? So, so to understand that it's um, instilled in us, it's it's a belief, right? It's a belief that we need to look to somebody else to tell us who the fuck we are, or who to be, or how to how to be, or what to say, or who to how to look, and all of this shit, 
you know that is a belief that is um i guess some people have that belief that they they look to others for validation they look to others for a sense of who to be a sense of how to act a sense of who they are how to be in this world and i mean it's a collective problem it's it's an issue that i mean there's the issue um that's the i guess that's the whole issue is you know these beliefs um so when somebody doesn't like what you're doing and they have a negative reaction what do you usually do so usually if they have a negative reaction it'll usually come from fear so they're fear right they're reacting from fear they don't know this and they react because they want you to stop what you're doing because it it makes them feel uncomfortable right now when they react how does it make you feel does it make you feel pissed off when they react do you get pissed off do you react do you um you know how do you react do you do you shout but shout at them do you yell at them do you do you cringe do you do you hide do you go into a little shell where you don't feel like you feel like you've done something wrong there's your belief i've just done something wrong i always do something wrong they fucking believe you've done something wrong. They believe that shit. They want you to believe that shit. And the idea of... Understanding... Other people's irritations... Are... They are not your responsibility. They are not your fucking responsibility. Your responsibility lies within yourself. So, how do I feel when somebody does this? They react, they judge, they try and, you know, they try and intimidate, things like this. How does it make me feel? Okay, so I feel scared. A bit of a, bit of a trigger. It triggers a bit of fear, right? So, and what what do you do? How do you behave when this triggers? Do you go and do you tell yourself things like, "I'm a bad person. I knew I shouldn't have done that." They're right. They're fucking right. I shouldn't have fucking. I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't. Um. You know, I shouldn't fucking uh, behave the way that I did. And all this sort of shit. And I mean, at the end of the day, it, it's it's understanding why they're doing this shit and how you can move away from that shit. You know, how you can move away into a a better place for yourself. And that is notice the patterns. So there's a pattern of belief patterns, right? So they, they don't they don't they believe that I guess they are more superior than you. They believe that you should feel like a piece of shit. They believe you should and you fucking belong down underneath their fucking boot, right? So <laughs> 
<laughs> and this, this, this is how stupid it is when you start to see these things. That's what they believe. They want you to react negatively. They want you to feel like shit about yourself. Uh, feel not good enough. Feel um, these things, whatever. Whatever it is. These people believe this about you. So, what do you do about that? It's as simple as acknowledging the patterns. Not them, not their patterns, because you've got no fucking control over them, and nor do you want to take any responsibility for their shit. You don't want to take responsibility, but you wouldn't even comprehend some of the thoughts that go through those types of people's minds. They actually do believe they're superior. They do believe that you, it makes them feel good. They tell themselves how fucking great they are as you're suffering, right? They love it. <laughs> this is what you got to understand. They fucking love it. And by you reacting to those, those beliefs about yourself and uh, allowing yourself to believe this shit that you need to hide, Or be afraid of these people is exactly what they want. So what do you do? Well, what do you want to do? You can do whatever you want. If you're willing to see this scenario for what it is, they won't tell you that they fucking, they, they think you're beneath them and, and they tell themselves how great they are. They fucking, they want, to, they want to tell you how they actually think and how they actually, what they believe about you. Because if you found that out, would you hang around? No, you fucking wouldn't. They know that. But they keep that a secret. And there's, there, I mean, that that is, it's a collective issue, right? People secretly need to feel more superior over the top of other people um, in order to feel anything these people can't feel anything they can't they pretend right uh, they get around this world and they smile and they brush their hair nicely and all these things and they s you fucking know I mean, you can sense it. You can sense these types of people uh, you can see them smiling and see them being overly friendly towards you, but you just know <laughs> you just know you know that they are they're fake. So anyway, understand it's not about them, it's about you where your power lies, where the control you can take over your own shit is, is how you take control over it all. So, uh, example, right? So, people say negative shit about your appearance, right? So, uh, take me for instance, right? So, my appearance. My presentation. So, I'm pretty rough. You know, rough looking presentation. That's how I choose to look. It's got fuck all to do with you. I don't have to present myself any other way than I want to. But if I want to go and... Uh, you know, I don't know what else I could do to improve this face because it's my face, right? So fuck you. <laughs> you know, I don't really care what you have to say about my presentation. And I could make all these excuses and, and suck up your ass and, and, and feel bad about myself for what you've said and believe that shit, but I don't. I don't care. And that is your problem. 
because that is going to irritate the fuck out of you and I don't care <laughs> so you've got to realize it's not about these people they don't have a choice you know these people that uh, they only see negative shit in people so they're only going to see uh, they're only going to see uh, faults right so they're going to going to pick on your faults they're going to they'll be trying to put you down trying to bring you down trying to bring you underneath the the boot where they they believe you belong right so yeah sometimes you might have to fight sometimes you might have to fly off, off the fucking handle and, and tell them to fuck right off you know you might have to tell them clearly Go away. Sometimes, you know, they're not even worth your time. They're not worth your energy. They're not worth your attention. Keep your attention here. Keep your attention present. It's your beautiful energy. But they're trying to, they're trying to get you to change your energy, right? You might be feeling pretty great, and people don't like that. Some people don't like that because it points out their insecurities, points out their jealousy, points out their irritation because they pretend to be what is called happy. They resist parts of themselves and favor the other parts, so they... They, uh, just, it's just what they know, you know. It's not about them. Understand that people are going to do what they do. Yep, you can tell them to go away. Yep, you can remove yourself. Yep, you can speak up. Or you let it the fuck go. Let go of all the little stories in your mind that say, Oh, I did something wrong. They're so right. Oh my god! I should, I should, I should never have done this. You know, like these, these little judgments, and it's like the little judgments in your mind, the little negative critics, right? All those little critics, all those little voices in there, are all not yours. We've taken that shit on. We've taken it from our parents, teachers, people when we were growing up situations we've been in we've taken all these ideas of ourselves on by the way people treat us and i mean there is a core issue i won't speak about that now the core issue that all of us have it stems from that so it stems from the core of I guess the core of the the painful beliefs, right? So the painful beliefs or the uh, the I suppose the the depth of the depth of the pain of humanity this day right now. And the, the depth of the suffering, right? So it comes from the belief that we're not enough. From this belief, we are not enough. Okay. So why? Why aren't we enough? Right this fucking very moment, right fucking now, as you sit here, looking at my head moving and listening to the words coming out of my face <laughs> why are you not enough give me a valid reason why as you feel even if you feel like shit right now feel great great if you feel peaceful great however you feel whatever thoughts are going through your mind 
why is that not enough right now? You might say, well, it's because. No. There's bull. That's that's the. This is these are the voices in your in your mind that I'm talking about. These voices are triggered by an emotional pattern. When this emotional pattern is triggered, it feels quite uncomfortable, right? So you might feel like you've done something wrong. You've been a bad person, right? You're a bad person. You're such a bad person. Where do you think that comes from? Understand, understanding why do we feel like we're a bad person? Well, probably childhood, right? Probably came from somebody when we were younger. We're bad because we, we did this. We're bad because we, I don't know, we didn't brush our hair the right way. Or, you know, because we upset people, our behavior, because we didn't do the right thing, or whatever it was. And, I mean, that's, that's, that's where it comes from. So, knowing that's where it comes from, it's part of a subconscious pattern. Um, and... Right now, however you're feeling, understand that if you're experiencing patterns, patterns of the mind chattering away to itself, it's just ch chattering away and sometimes it's arguing with itself sometimes it's agreeing with itself having a big old conversation about you and you're just there you know, you're the conscious listener that's there and you're like what the fuck are they why doesn't this shit stop how do I get these voices to go quiet Well, it's quite simple, and before I, I, I suppose, explain some of these, you know, these little, and it's, it's, it's not even a step, I suppose, you, you're probably thinking, he's going to tell me, he's going to tell me how to stop this, well, no, I'm not, actually, I'm not going to tell you how to stop it, I'm going to show you how your attention is precious where you put your attention is what defines your life so like a for example someone says something negative little thoughts, oh, sorry, the little emotional trigger will happen. Okay, so I've done, I'm bad, I'm naughty. I'm a bad person. And from that stems some thoughts. Okay, so I need to explain myself, or I need to change myself. All this bullshit that'll come up. Those thoughts are what feed that emotion. Those patterns are, I guess, what those those thought patterns are. What the they they're they're the uh, what you need to do about the belief, right? So the belief is I'm bad, and then all these thoughts about why you're bad are going to come up. And then how are you going to stop to feeling bad? Uh, st to to stop from feeling bad, right? All these thoughts are going to be trying to get you away from feeling bad about yourself. The thoughts are designed to do this. 
It's trained. It's taught. We're taught because we watched other people do it. And we listened to what they said about how they were feeling. And that's what, we, that's what we've learned to do. Um, we've learned to get away from these feelings. We've learned to devise little stories about who we are and what we need to do so we can escape from the feeling of I am bad. So, hypothetically, in this moment, right now, say, you did something. It had to upset somebody. They had a judgment, they had a reaction. They got the shits with whatever it was. They decided that you're making them feel uncomfortable and they don't like that and they want to make you feel uncomfortable and, and they want you to, to realize that you're worthless or whatever it is that they believe about you, right? So, if that was to trigger an emotion of feeling bad, right? So there's, that's just a pattern. Feeling bad is just an emotion, it's just a pattern. Feel bad about yourself, about what you did. And the thoughts weren't there, okay? Just imagine if the thoughts weren't there. You know, they weren't there very much. They were quite quiet. Just the emotion was there. You know, so it could be a little bit hard to breathe. Um, you know, your heart could be pounding. It could be a little sharp bits, you know, inside this emotion. The, the, the emotion itself could be where is it in your body? Where is the emotion? Is it in your throat? Is it in your heart? Um, is it in your head? Where is it? What's it feel like? Is there a temperature to it? Investigate it. Okay. So there's the pattern. Does it feel soft? Does it feel sharp? Does it feel tight? You know, put your attention on it. See it for what it is. It's a scared little version of yourself that you never learned to give attention to. Everybody else, I guess I'm not going to say everybody else, but these people that are, let's just say, right, what it was called, bullying, or trying to put you down, they want you to believe this emotion. They want you to believe that you are still this scared little person that is not good enough. Why? Because you're bad. They want you to believe this shit. Understand that everything out here, everything, is, re is a reflection of what's going on inside. So, like I say, these people want your attention. Why do they want your attention? They won't fucking admit this. They want your fucking attention. They need your fucking attention. They want your negativity. They want your negative attention. They want you to feel like shit. They want to feed off that shit. They want to feed off your energy. What you can do instead is refocus your energy. Refocus your attention on the this, this moment right now. Be fully fucking present 
it yourself with with heavy heavier whatever's going on fully present with the thoughts notice them breathe put your attention away from the thoughts put them on the emotion itself okay so how does it feel okay so when you do this you might have thoughts like oh this is Oh, I don't like this. This is painful. Ooh, this doesn't feel good. Um, it might be the reality. Yeah, it probably won't feel great. You carry that shit around your whole life. Uh, you know that's what people call. I don't know. It's what people call. Uh, well, it's what I what I what I would say is is actual trauma, right? trauma, energetic uh, resistance to emotions. So that's what I would call trauma. Not you know a lot a lot of a lot of the interpretations of what trauma is can trigger a lot of shame around people. I'm not traumatized, I wasn't this and I wasn't that well you know Every, every 99.9 percent of people that are walking around now have trauma not just one but many and understanding and acceptance of a, a pattern that exists around what you would call a trauma which is basically just a memory of the past that's all it is is You know, acceptance of it. Accept that you can release yourself from this shit. You can release yourself from it from what's called a trauma. When when the mind is triggered, so the patterns in the mind are triggered, we do have a choice. Either to put our attention into our head, into the thoughts, into the beliefs about ourselves, or we can put our full attention on those painful emotions. So what happens when you do that? When you make that choice? So you put the... You don't have to believe the emotions, because the motion, the emotions, is basically something that we just haven't quite released yet. We just have to be present. So to stay out of your mind, where do you put your attention? Then, so your mind is thinking. Well, where do you want to put your attention? You can put it in your body. Your body's uncomfortable though. It feels not good enough. It feels the inside the body and, and the feelings and the emotions. The emotions don't feel... They feel bad, right? Because you believe you're a bad person. So isn't that going to reflect in, in the emotion that you're going to feel? So you're going to feel... It's going to feel bad. Because that's the... The belief is, I should feel bad. So that is exactly what is being created. Your mind is going to, or has already created this, this version of yourself that feels bad. Realize this pattern. Let the emotion be there. Let it be there. Let it feel fucking bad. Realize it's a pattern. Realize it's what's called, you know, a traumatic, uh, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Call it what you want, whatever you do, but identify it. See it. In this moment, I choose to be present, fully present with myself. Fully unconditional with myself, right? 
there's going to be people that won't like won't like this, right? There's going to be people that are losing your attention. So they're going to be because they're probably used to getting your attention, negative, positive attention all the time. You start to redirect your attention into the present moment. You choose you. You start to choose you. Understand that people are going to trigger you. It's going to happen. Accept that right fucking now. It's going to happen. Everything outside is a reflection of what's going on inside. So if you feel I'm a bad person, there are people that are going to come into your life and they're going to believe that as well. Why? Because you believe that. They're only doing... You know, they're, they're only reacting to what's in your energy already. So, understand that it's not their fault. But at the same time, you're not going to put up with that shit. So, you don't want people like that around you as well. And to... A lot of the times when you, when you, when you remove people that are triggering your time or you remove yourself from those situations that are triggering, it gives you a little bit of a, a bit of a reprieve, you know. It can, it can actually allow you to get some clarity and realize your fucking worth, all right? You don't, do, you don't deserve to be treated like this. You don't deserve, people are gonna, but you don't deserve to have your attention stolen away, I guess. Don't, don't let them have your attention. I'm talking about your actual physical attention right now. Your physical attention, not your walking over to them attention. I'm talking about your, your mental attention, your, your uh, conscious attention. And we choose that, where our attention goes in this moment. So to fully acknowledge this moment right now, to fully acknowledge any emotions that's there, any thoughts are there. Okay, so if it's a pattern, it's a pattern, let it be there. If it's an insight, wow, fucking follow that shit. New thoughts, follow those. An epiphany, they're great. It's the old stuck patterns that are triggered by, you know, these emotional trauma -y type type deals, right? Those things are not who we are. And we can choose to step away, step away from those ideas and those thoughts. We step into what's present, what's being presented for us. So if we're sitting out here, we can acknowledge, I don't know, acknowledge the wind on your face, acknowledge the, the sounds. Hold your attention there. The emotion's too painful, and you can't sit with it, acknowledge that, that's cool, that's fine. It might not quite be your time to let it go yet. It might still be a little bit, a bit too much emotion there, you know? And there is, I mean, that, that's, a, that's an idea as well. However, there is no wrong here, there's no right and there is no wrong. There's more beliefs. And people are going to get you to believe this shit. If you think about everything, ideas, beliefs about yourself, that you would like to let go of, right? So if you had a choice, you could let go of this shit. You could let go of these fears, which are all just thoughts. And they're not even yours other people's fears you 
you choose to let them go right, right now, this very moment, write it down on a piece of paper. Redirect. Redirect your attention. And stay present. With whatever is presented. Whatever comes along. Accept it. Acknowledge it. Hold firm. Hold present. It's it's a choice to be with these emotions. What these emotions don't know is that <clears throat> by making this choice of experiencing them, feeling them, we let them go. These emotions eventually you know, like, this, these emotions might stick around for days, but then they disappear, don't they? They... We can let them go. So, anyway. The message, I guess and the the whole reason for this video I suppose is to help a few of you guys understand that it really it really doesn't matter what other people want you to believe about yourself. It's what, it's what you, it's what you want, I suppose, what you want your life to be, what you want your personality to be. And to be this person, it's a paradox because to be this person, it's, We don't have to do anything. We just have to stay present. And realize that these people are going to trigger these things. And in every time these things are triggered, we have a choice to be present right now and hold our attention within ourselves. You know, it may help. It may help a little to, you know, to do certain things as well. So, to show yourself respect, if if uh, you know, prove to yourself that you prove your fucking worth, prove to those, I guess those little parts that that feel not good enough or you know, feel like I don't know, these little patterns, these these emotions, right? Take control, take charge. from being present the thoughts go quiet to be fully present there's there's just what is whatever that may be that's enough however you feel whatever beliefs you have about yourself and like I said there's the process of choice 
to be present instead of all of that. You can choose to live right here in the now. Right now is where you can start. Right now is where you can just be. And that's it. That's it's enough. You might think, oh, let's rephrase that. There might be thoughts that. There's ideas of the future that may be better than this than this moment right now. Than what's happening. Those are patterns. Those are the illusions. They are the these are the beliefs that I'm talking about. Something in the future is going to free me from these traumatic patterns or these feelings and emotions of bad or you know feeling insignificant and all these these they're all patterns there is only One thing to do. One thing. One step. One step and you can dissolve the whole fucking lot. Notice. The patterns. Once you've noticed the patterns. Bring yourself to this moment. Bring yourself to the now. Bring yourself to, to be present, right? As a, matter, as a matter of fact, write it down. Stay present. Remember to stay present. Stick it everywhere. Remind yourself that right now is where my attention needs to be and notice and let go and just breathe realize notice 
let go. So in saying that, I was going to make a video about some things that a few of you guys have been asking around twin flame and stuff, twin twin flames and, and, and things like this, and it's it's a thing, you know, so I'm not going to not deny it. And I know people who aren't, I guess, on this path or on this this journey, you know, to the depths of what some people are, well, that's okay. And they won't understand it. And they don't have to. They may never. understand it but I guess the reason that I'm making these videos is to help you guys to understand that We're breaking out of this shit. We're breaking out of these uh, these patterns. We're freeing our minds. We're expanding outside of fear. You know, ideas, ideas of of ourself. Because when all the ideas of who I am. When I say I am, I'm, t I'm talking about um, you saying that to yourself. So, the ideas of who I am go away. Whatever that may look like. So, it may be triggers, may be a little bit painful. It could be situations where people you know, lose things or, or lose other people. And to allow, I guess, allow that uh, loss, I guess, the loss of, not the, not the people or the things, but accept the loss of those beliefs about yourself. And accept that. Once you let go of some of these beliefs, or you choose to just start being, start being, that's it. You can let go of needing. any of those little stories or those little patterns and if they come up it's okay because you know that you have the power to place your attention wherever you want so there is there's only two choices so you have two choices and 
One's not really even a choice, but I'll explain it as a choice. Because you're either choosing you're, you're choosing the present or you know you're choosing to be stuck in those beliefs you know, you're stuck you're stuck in the mind you're stuck in those patterns and to notice the pattern means that you're letting the pattern go so if ever you notice these emotions and these patterns and these beliefs about yourself realize that is presence you are being present with yourself sometimes thoughts will come in and they'll say you know you're stuck in your head again and they may you know they may be thoughts that are going to try and like make you feel bad I guess or the thoughts that are going to try and redirect your attention they want your attention the thoughts want your attention saying you're not doing it right something's wrong here You're not being present enough. There. Patterns. Just let them be there. Remember to come back to the now back to this moment fully present in your body and just be that's all one step one step to free yourself from all of this shit And we have the opportunity to choose this step in every moment. Yep. You understand. that we can let all of these patterns go and in each moment whatever presents itself in the form of what's happening inside you is exactly
as it is. It's exactly what's supposed to happen. So, <laughs> basically, we can we can surrender that control we're needing needing this moment to be any different than how it is so understand that yeah people People are going to do what they do. They're going to bring these patterns out. And we can be, you know, we can choose to be stuck in our head about them. Or We can choose to be right here, right now, and we can let them go. We can make this choice. And that's it. That's all that's needed. Next time, people or situations trigger you. They don't trigger you. They trigger a pattern. And from that place, we can choose. how to be anyways hope this helps some people this is uh, the purpose of this is to help bring people into the state of being present and accepting themselves right now Peace.